Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So uh, today I wanted to do this look for you guys um, that I'm wearing now, which is the uh, cut crease um, eyes with a pop of colour in the inner corners. Um, and I want to do a different lip guy for you guys today to have a nude or a red, which I tend to do quite a bit on this channel, which I've noticed. Um, so yeah, I thought I would try this look out for you guys. Um, I also thought I would try my hair a little different, so I have uh, done waves in it with my wave makeup thingy. So yeah. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this look, and if you would like to know how to get it, then please keep watching. Okay, so I thought I would do a bit of a talk through video for you. So I've done my face already and my brows, and I'm currently baking my under eye. So I thought I would, yeah, just jump straight in and do a talk through with it. So I'm going to start off by zooming into my eyes so you can see them. And I'm going to try and do a bit of a cut crease uh, with a pop of colour in the inner corner. So first of all, I've done a cut crease um, as such, so we'll see how we go. Um, but I want to start off with... Just putting some colours into my crease just to help with the blending. So I'm going to uh, go in with this Models Prefer palette. I'm going to take this colour here, which is oops, buff. So I'm just going to, as the uh, name suggests, buff that into my crease. Now this colour is just basically helping with the blending when we do our cut crease. So next I'm going to go in with just a slightly darker colour on a more precise uh, brush. And these brushes here I picked up, I'll just show you. These brushes here. I picked up on eBay for about four dollars. So, and you've got all different types of eye brushes. Um, really fluffy, and like some of them, these ones are really soft. These ones are a bit harder, um, and these are the first time I'm using them. And they're the man mange. I don't know, but so we'll see how they go today. So this is what I'm using. So yes, yeah, so a more precise brush, and I'm going to take the color. In that same palette, this one next to buff, which is soft. Right there, I'm going to start buffing that into the crease. Now we don't want too much on the lid, so we're just going to keep this just in that crease and a bit higher. And just build it up. the lid itself to be nice and bright. We just want to do windscreen wipe up. So next, uh, I'll probably use that same brush that I used before. I'm going to go in with a slightly darker colour and I'm going to go in with the colour, um, this one here, which is Cashmere. I'm going to do the same with that. Just build it up. Oops, this one's quite pigmented. Right. Start building that into the crease, just right over the top of the colour soft. Sorry about that. Um, so yes, once um, you've built that up, just keep building, building, building to your desired intensity. And so next I'm going to take a flat brush. I'm going to use this one here. And I'm going to take a dark colour. So I think I'm going to go in with black. And that's this colour here. I'm going to start drawing in my crease. 
So just take your time with this. Draw your crease in. And I'm going to keep it in your crease and slightly above. We're going to blend this out a little bit, anyways. Okay, so now that it's done, I'm going to go back in with that precise brush and I'm going to take one of the lighter colours we've used. Now you can use any of the lighter colours we've used previously. So I'm going to go in with uh, the colour Soft, which is this one right here, just to start blending that out and just diffusing that a little bit. Just because we don't want a sharp line. Well, I don't, I don't want a sharp line. So. Because we build that colour up there, I'm just gonna um, make sure that it's nice and not too dark. Just like a really subtle. Cut crease. Um, really cut because I'm not doing any colours like in that outer corner and just like that. So. Um, right. so now I'm going to take a flat brush like this and I'm going to take a nice, really creamy colour. I'm going to use that same palette, I'm going to use this ashen colour. I'm just going to pick some up and pat that all over the lid. And this is just going to brighten that whole area up. And I'm just going to take this slightly smaller brush just to help get up in the inner corners. So now that the colour's in there, I'm just going to go in with that small blending brush and just go once more over. So I'm just going to, um, I'm not going to do any uh, eyeliner today, but I will do a bit of lining on my um, upper lash line and I'm just going to take uh, that flat brush again and just uh, this colour Espresso here and I'm just going to pick some up and just put that along my top lash line. And this is going to add a bit more depth to my lashes without um, the liner. Of course, you are more than welcome to go in with a liner at this stage. Um, you can do a nice wing. I just want to do just a little bit more because I really want that pop of colour to be the statement of the eye look. And then I'm just going to go in with some mascara, and I think I'll just go in with my. Um, Maybelline Great Mash Mascara and I'm just going to curl my lashes as well. And I'll 
I'll leave my bottom lash for now because I want to go in. So I'm just going to zoom out for you guys. I'm going to finish up the rest of the face and go back into the eyes after. Okay, so I just want to take off this under eye bakage that we've got going on. So I'm just going to start off with this stippling brush and I'm just going to start just dusting that away. So I'm going to go in with the Australis um, on straight AC on tour kit and that banana shade, which is right there. And I'm going to just pat that underneath my eyes just to help brighten it up a little bit. And also because that concealer is a little bit pink for me, it's just going to um, make a little bit more yellower underneath there. So. And this will help get off any excess powder that you didn't get swept away with the stippling brush. Sorry about that again. Um, so yeah, putting that underneath. Nice and bright. Okay, sorry about the lighting, it's a really dull day. Um, looks like it's gonna rain. Which is a, although it's a nice change, and hopefully it does rain for all the people down south that are having bushfires at the moment. But doesn't make my lighting very good but my ring light is being shipped so it should be here hopefully pray to god next time i film so that is that so that's just going to make it really nice and bright under there and then i'm going to go in with some contouring and stuff like that so i'm going to use my define models prefer palette and i'm actually really liking this powder um contour in here so I'm going to start off with uh, this shade here, just to do a little bit of contouring. Now because it's not super pigmented, it means you're not going to go overboard really quickly, but it's like the perfect contour shade and it's really natural contour, it's not like a heavy So next I'm going to do a little bit of bronzing of my skin. I'm just going to go in with my Sun Club bronzer. Now I haven't used this for a little while because I've been trying some different things, but this is my favourite bronzing brush. This is the Furless BC2 brush. So just pick some brush up. Brush up, pick some bronzer up and then just start bronzing the skin. Now, I really like this bronzer. Um, I don't know why, I just really like it. Because I am super light and I need all the colour I can get. But I am going to try a fake tan soon. So, if you have any suggestions of fake tans, let me know. Because I've never tanned before, but I want to do a I think I'll put my under eye circles as well because it's going to be nice. Anyways, okay, so I'm nice and bronzed up. So now I'm going to do some blush and I'm going to use my Essence Silky Touch Blush. This is 50 Sweetheart, which is a pretty pink colour and has a little bit of a sheen to it. So it's going to help out with the highlight on the cheeks. And I just like to start with up into the cheeks and just work it backwards. Now I'm going to go in with some highlighter. I'm going to use one from the Define or Preferred palette, and I have to say, these highlighters are amazing. So I absolutely love this gold one, which I'm going to use today. Um, tell me about, I just love it. It is super, super intense highlight for one. I mean, it's a little bit glittery, but like when I put it on, I found most of the glitter came off. So. You guys can see that in the camera. 
super gorgeous hat. to uh, go back in with the eyes. I'm going to zoom you guys back in. Okay, so I'm just going to do my lower lash line. I don't want anything too dramatic for the lower lashes, only because I want the focus to be with the pop of colour in a corner, which I'm going to be using this really pretty blue. So I hope that's going to look really nice. So I'm going to, I think I'm going to use I'm going to use this shadow palette. I'm going to use the shadows palette again. And I'm going to use the colour Caramel. I think got my favourite under eye brush for this. Okay, I'm going to use this colour Caramel under the eyes. I'm just going to start buffing that into the lower lash line. These colours aren't super pigmented. Do you require to bring it up? I think, uh, I think I'm going to go in. I'm going to go in with the Define palette, I think. I'm going to take this brown shade. really want it for a bit of shadowing on the like um, And then I'll just use this fluffy brush that I use on the top and buff it. And that'll take whatever excess products on there on my lower lash line well. So I'm just gonna go in with um, my inner corner highlight now which is this beautiful blue colour from Essence and it's the colour My Baby Blue and it's a shimmer effect so it's gonna really really and I'm going to get a brush. This is like a little tiny flat shader brush. It's a Nutramedics one. And I just want to spritz it with a little bit of spray because I want this to be really nice and intense and pretty. So I'm just using my Urban Decay uh, D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. And I just want to go straight in with this beautiful blue colour. Gorgeous. And to be honest, I've had this for ages and I haven't even used it. I want to pick it up in the corner. I'm just start popping that. This is not bright as I expected. Okay, so that blue is a bit of a letdown. I don't know if I should go with a different blue or the blue that. Right, what do you guys think about the blue? I mean, I thought it would be more pigmented. So, that is that. Still not 100% liking the product itself. I mean, the pigment, I love the colour. You know, just the pigmentation of that. So, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the colour. Like, the, sorry, the pigmentation. The product. But I love the colour. So I'm just going to go in with some la um, mascara for my bottom lashes. I'm going to go in with the Essence Lash Princess um, Volume Mascara. And I love this one to add like heaps of volume to my bottom lashes. I don't know, I'm kind of liking it. Yeah, alright. <laughs> really like the pop colour. I just want to zoom back out. Actually. Before I do that, I'm just going to set my face um, to some setting spray. And that's the Urban Decay one. And that's oh, and I want to highlight my brow bone. Really good at that. I'm just going to use this um, 
M N Y Maybelline one and just a little A little bit of a, oops, intense highlight. A little bit of a highlight, intense much. Okay, so now my lips. So this is just one of the mini ones. Very drying formula. I think I'm just gonna take some of that highlight shade and just pop that on the inner, um, sorry, in the centre of my lid, just to add a little, little brightness. Concludes this makeup tutorial um, for my first ever cut crease, which I think I did pretty good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. So um, don't forget to check out all our ch um, that channel with all our videos, our social media, so our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, also, don't forget to like, share, subscribe because it really helps us out. And if you're new to our channel, welcome board hope you guys enjoy I like we're boarding a ship or something but um so i hope you guys enjoy this don't forget if you do recreate this look to uh tag us on instagram or twitter just so we can check it out we love to see what you guys are doing and yeah so that leaves me with you guys so thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time in our next video bye